What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog video. Got another product review for you today. Uh, I got the King Bolin battery tester they sent me to try out. They wanted me to do a review, so I said, sure, send it out. This is the BM550 battery analyzer, they call it, battery tester. Uh, they say it does 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt systems. Um, haven't had it out of the package yet, so let's pull it out. And I got my hood popped. I'm going to test my battery here. This battery is a few years old, so I'm not sure I haven't had any issues, but got to test this thing out. So, um, unravel these cables here. If you're working in a shop, either your shop or you needs a battery tester, it's kind of a must have thing in today's diagnostics um you know there's a lot of fancy battery testers out there like the snap-on ones uh, have a printout and they're like 400 500 bucks the maco has one that sends the results to your phone and then you can like text the results to your customer and that's all getting real high tech and whatnot and kind of geared more towards you know selling batteries and making a profit there but you know, if you're just starting out or if you just need something easy to test a battery to rule stuff out in a shop, something like this would be perfect for you. This was only 25 bucks on their uh, website. I am going to leave a link for this thing down in the description. So let's plug this thing in and see how it works. Red to red. Black to black. Oh, lights up. So it's asking us battery type, 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt. We have a 12 volt. Okay, I'm assuming. So now you're getting to your cold cranking amps. You're going to have to look at your battery. Um, I'm not sure if I can. Oh, yeah, here we go. 680 is what my battery is rated at. I'm going to cruise on up to 680 here. All right. Testing, 569. So that's a good battery. I mean, you rarely get your full cold cranking amps. If this were down to like under 300, for sure would take notice. Um, it would probably say bad battery, especially if it's in like 200 cold cranking amps. I've seen some that were like 18, just completely junk. So obviously it's easy as that. As far as like diagnosing goes, you can't only go off your battery tester. Um, if a car or truck comes in with a dead battery and they say they need a battery replaced and you test it and it tests bad, still try to charge it up, start the car, make sure your alternator is charging, make sure you don't have a bad cable somewhere. I mean, you still should go through, um, nine times out of 10, you probably do have a junk battery but uh, still should go through and make sure and double check because things happen. I found some goofy issues where it seemed like dead battery or you may have a battery draw, check for a draw. So, but this is definitely a must have tool, a battery tester, our shop has one. So I've always just used the shops, the other shop I worked at, we had a snap on one. So I just used that one. I never had to have my own, but this thing will be good to leave in the toolbox, maybe on service calls. I'm not sure how good this will do on the big trucks, uh, but as far as, you know, especially at home or working on cars and trucks, this thing is plenty good for 25 bucks. I would say you don't really need more than this. So that's the King Bowen BM550 battery tester. Like I said, for 25 bucks, it'd be worth just to order one, have an extra, even if you haven't already. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description and uh, see you guys in the next video.